Starting a business isn't one of the easiest things to do. It requires so much more than money. You need to be able to make wise business moves and decisions. You need to be able to lead your team and treat your employees well. You need to learn the art of sales and marketing. It would help if you also learned how to create a business model that would work, etc. The thoughts of being a business person, being the boss of yourself, and earning your own money sounds like so much until you get stuck halfway down the line. To avoid that, however, you need to be business literate. The more knowledgeable you are about the business world, the fewer your chances of making mistakes or errors that can destroy your business. So in today's video, I'll share with you 10 business books you must read in your 20s. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on exciting videos like this. 1. The $100 Startup by Chris Guillebeau In this book, Chris Guillebeau explores 1,500 entrepreneurs who started their business with only $100 or less, but have been able to build it to a bob that makes at least $50,000 a year. How did they do it? Well, the book explains how doing a business that aligns with your passion in life can help you achieve your millionaire dream. 2. Start, Run and Grow a Successful Small Business by Toolkit Media Group This book is a good recommendation for an all-in-one guide to running your small business. In this book, you'll learn everything about setting up a business, from planning to accounting and staffing with handy checklists, case studies, and model business plans to help you start and grow your business. 3. The Business Planning Guide by David H. Banks Jr. David H. Banks Jr., a former banker and entrepreneur, offers a reassuring voice of experience to help business owners venture into the unknown business world. This book provides tips to help you successfully launch your startup, including how to analyze your business strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and current market conditions. 4. Become Your Own Boss in 12 Months, a month-by-month -month guide to a business that works by Melinda F. Emerson. Business That Works, a self-guide book by Melinda Emerson, the founder and CEO of Quintessence Multimedia, outlines the task you need to carry out to get your business off the ground. The book details the step-by-step -step activities you need to do within the first year of launching your business, from reaching out to venture capitalists or contacting investors and creating a one-year marketing strategy to getting the right software and investing in graphic design. Again, as an entrepreneur, building a successful business can only be achieved when you are knowledgeable about your industry, how to budget and invest, among other things. So, following these tips will help you build a successful business in no time. 5. Influence by Robert Caldini One of the most important questions every salesperson should be able to answer is, what makes people say yes to something? In this book, the author, Robert Caldini, started by asking this question and also provides the answer. Contrary to what a majority of people think that it is the merit of a product that makes people say yes to them, Caldini believes that the context in which the message is placed is responsible for convincing or persuading people to say yes. He also explores the six principles of influence, which are reciprocity, consistency, likability, social proof, authority, and scarcity. 6. Build to Last Successful Habits of Visionary Companies by Jim Collins and Jerry Porras Jim Collins and Jerry Perez dig from a six-year research project examining the everyday practices of the most outstanding companies in this book. The book examines over a hundred real-life examples of successful brands and also provides framework to help entrepreneurs at all levels build a successful organization. 7. The 22 Immutable Laws of Marketing by Aureus and Jack Trout The key takeaway in this book is that marketing is a battle of perception, not products. In a competitive online space today, everybody wants to be the first in the mind of their prospect. However, there is a very small chance of achieving that if another company has gotten there first. What do you do instead? Arias and Jack Trout advise that if you don't get to a prospect's mind first, then you can create a new category where you can come first. If it worked for Domino's, it could work for you too. 8. The Founder's Dilemmas Anticipating and Avoiding the Pitfalls That Can Sink a Startup by Noam Wasserman. This book is based on the author, Noam Wasserman's research at Princeton. Wasserman, a clinical entrepreneurship professor at the University of Southern California, studied founders from many industries and detailing their experiences, the good, the bad, and the ugly, which he documented in his book. Wasserman illustrates, using real-life examples, why specific ways of approaching entrepreneurship are better than others. 
He also explains why entrepreneurs need to take proactive steps to keep them from making mistakes that can have adverse effect on their business in the long run. This book familiarizes entrepreneurs with business structures and provides a better understanding of how things can be done to ensure a smooth running and management of the business. In other words, the book prepares new entrepreneurs for the successful management of their business. 9. The E-Myth Revisited Why Most Small Businesses Don't Work and What to Do About It by Michael Gerber A lot of workers dream of the day that they'll finally escape the employee life and become a boss of their own. As a result, they start their entrepreneurship journey. Sadly, most of these small businesses end up failing because they were built on the wrong motivation. Thus, new entrepreneurs assume that they understand the technical work of a business. Therefore, they know a company that does the technical work. However, here's something that they need to understand. Everyone who goes into business has three identities, an entrepreneur, a manager, and a technician. Your goal should be to work on your business rather than in your business. To do that, you'll need all three identities to build a company that can thrive without you. Michael Gerber's advice in this book is to outsource work to other people whenever possible. Ask yourself, if you weren't there, would the business crumble without you? If the answer is yes, then find someone who can replace you. According to Gerber, if your business depends on you, you don't own a business, you have a job. And it's the worst job in the world because you're working for a lunatic. 10. Blue Ocean Strategy by W. Chan Kim and Renee Maborn You know you don't have to spend all of your energy trying to beat your competitors all the time. How about focusing on making them irrelevant by creating a leap in value for buyers and your company? In this book, the authors Chan Kim and Renee Maborn explain the concept of a saturated market this way. Most markets are red oceans. They're full of blood because many sharks feed on the same small pool of fishes to differentiate yourself from them then it would help to create a blue ocean for yourself, an opportunity people can't wait to dive in. I believe following the tips provided by this authors will help you build a successful brand and avoid some specific pitfalls. So not only will you become successful, but also achieve your goal early enough because you would have learned how to avoid unnecessary delays. So starting now in your 20s is an excellent advantage for you. Tell us, which of these books do you want to start reading first? Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.